Happy Saturday, everybody. Thank you for making it out. My name is Jen, and we are on for our weekend wild card today. You know, as I was thinking about what we would do today, uh, I was thinking about um, a lot of you are climbers and probably miss the wall and all of that stuff that comes along with the wall, right? Not just the wall itself, but, um, you know, the community, the, the friendship and the companionship and like all of that stuff. Um, so I was like, okay, maybe we should do some stuff that uh, sort of simulates us being at the wall, but, um, just really encourages that movement. So a lot of it like is hip opening type of stuff and also hip turning into the wall type of stuff. So more kind of closed action and twisting. Uh, so I thought we'd kind of work on that today. And then in addition, because a lot of that is very leg, so bottom half intensive, uh, I thought we'd throw in kind of a set of just, uh, I wouldn't call them max reps, but push ups uh, every, 20 minutes. So start just one set at 540, one set at six, and then one set at 620. So, and it'll be really simple. It'll be sets of 24 each time. So three times of those 24, and we'll just do different variations of push-ups for that. Oh, yes. So Ellen brought up my shirt. This is a shirt uh, from a restaurant in Oakland, California. I'm from the Bay Area, that, that region. I'm a little bit south of Oakland, but uh, anyway, the chef here, I met him in New York when I was living in New York, and uh, this was a long time ago, right? Uh, I was in between jobs and I was like, oh, maybe I should go um, serve, right? <laughs> Thinking like this would be super easy because like I like people, I like talking, that whole bit. Um, turns out that is a very difficult job, especially in the heat of summer. Oh dear, you're carrying all these tables out, right, for the a la carte seating. Um, do they call it that? Is that is that what it's called? Anyway, and then you're bringing all of that stuff back in at the end of the night after you've worked like however many long. I think you uh, get we had to get there at like 5 p.m. or something. So at like 12 midnight or like 1 a.m. when we were like all sweaty and gross, we had to bring all of the tables back in. So I think I lasted like four days. Um, and because it was such a sad experience, meaning the chef at the time, he wasn't the chef, uh, Chef Nelson, who owns Alamar. Uh, he wasn't the, the head chef over there, but uh, he was like, I think a sous chef or something. He would just look at me and start laughing. We became really good friends, even just uh, from me having worked there four nights. And we kept in touch. He opened his restaurant in Oakland and I bought a shirt when I went to go visit my mom and uh, took her to this restaurant. But I just never wore this shirt because, again, the whole sleeve situation. So snip, snip. There we go. And uh, it's kind of fitted already, so I didn't have to do anything adjusting-wise uh, in the back. So that's kind of nice. But anyway, I would love to see your uh, experiments, <laughs> your snipping experiments. And I will say that it's... Um, I think would be similar to if you were to start cutting your hair, you cut once and then you're like, oh, well, I think there are a couple of um, loose uh, stragglers and you start cutting there and then before you know it, you're snipping closer and closer and closer. So I was one more snip adjustment and then done because <laughs> I was like, soon I'm gonna have um, no front body. So yeah, exactly, Rochelle. Ton tons of uh, shirts that have been given new life, right? So, um, but if you uh, came in a little bit later, I we I thought we'd do some stuff that will hopefully help us when we get back to the wall. I know a lot of you are climbers, so um, both hip opening but also closing. So when your hips are to the wall, there's more of like a closed stance where you have to um, lean your hip in and then push up from there. Um, obviously, we're not holding on to anything so it'll be leg heavy and then we'll do kind of our uh, push-ups in between and I'll tell you what those are once we get there okay so a little bit more leg heavy we'll start seated actually all right so we'll start seated here yeah oh yeah awesome Ellen I like that repurposing giving new life all that wonderful stuff so just start with your legs out in front of you, flex your feet back toward your face, and we'll start with like some stretches, which is 
uh, what we usually don't do actually, but bend up your right leg and bring your foot in pretty darn close to you best you can. Uh, not only toward your hip, but also toward your left thigh. Right hand close with your base. Lift your left arm all the way up and think of your left arm going outside of this right thigh. Give yourself a good little twist. All right. Couple breaths, inhale. Lengthen up a little bit taller. Pull your navel in tight and on your exhale, twist your belly button. Think of it as passing your thigh. One more time, inhale, lift. And exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Good, come back through center. And let your right knee just drop out toward this side. Allow your right hip to open, square off your hips. Flex your left foot, crawl down your left leg, flatten out through your spine. It might be the first time you're stretching out your hams right now, so take your time for sure. Grab onto any part that you can. We'll hang out here static for four, for three. Think about pulling your navel in tight, flatten out your belly over your thigh as your first point of contact. At any point in time you feel like your spine is rounding on you, take another breath to lengthen and then flatten out just a little bit deeper. So you're constantly going for some length here. Hold. Hold for four, three, two, one, and then gently, gently come back up. Take your right hand to the outside of your left leg somewhere. Left hand close with your base and lift up tall. We're going for another spine twist the other direction. So twist to your left. One more breath here, inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head, belly in tight, exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Good, gently release. Nice and easy this warm up, right? Extend your right leg, bend up your left leg, and again, bring this foot in pretty darn close with you. Left hand close to the base of your spine, lift your right arm all the way up, right armpit outside of your left thigh, give yourself a good twist. Find your little adjustments. I need to sort of readjust my left hand behind me. Take two breaths here, pull your belly in tight, lift. On your exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Feel your belly button past your thigh. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Oh, it feels so good, I don't wanna come out of it. Gently release. Lower your left knee all the way down out toward your left. Sole of your foot up against your right thigh, lift. Pull your belly in tight, square over your right leg, and gently crawl yourself down any amount. Think belly to your thigh, chest to your knee. Gentle, gentle hinge. Hold right here. Hold four, drop your shoulders away from your ears. Hold three. Think about eventually being able to bite your toes. Hold for two. Hold for one, really kick out through your right heel. Gently bring yourself up. All right, your right hand close to the base, your left hand somewhere outside of your right thigh. Lift up nice and tall, pull your belly in, and then just twist. Drop your shoulders, lift. Twist a little bit deeper. Good, gently release. All right. Bend up your left foot in nice and close again. Bend up your left leg. And then bend up your right leg in. So you're nice and close. As if I'm reaching you from outside of the screen to pull you in. Bring yourself up. Sit back down. Do it again. Lift yourself up. Lengthen out through the sides of your body. Sit yourself down. Twice more. Pull, 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 lift. Take yourself down. Last time, pull, pull, pull. Good, this time we'll bring our feet together. Heels in, touch. Separate your knees out to your right, to your left, best you can. From this place, slice yourself in half, hinge, find your forward fold. As you come forward, maintain the length in your spine, sit your butt back, allow your knees to push out to the right, to the left. Good, I like to do a little bit of movement just with my legs. Right, left. And again, find your long spine here. Maybe you keep your legs still and then move your arms out to the right, to the left. Go for some length here. Sit your hips back, hold. 
Hold right here, hold for four. Hold right here, three. Open your chest a little bit more. Hold two. Hold one, good. Gently walk yourself up, keeping that openness of your knees. Find a little lift so you can balance. Pull your navel in tight. Hands into the center of your chest, hold right here. Lift up tall, upright your spine. Continue to send your knees out to your right, to your left. Some of you might find that this feels very similar to like a ballet grand plie all the way down. You do gentle pulses out to the right, to the left. Pulse out, so pulse out, pulse out, pulse out. Best you can, lengthen up through, crown of your head up toward the ceiling. Pulse out, last eight. Small movement, big though, right? Big opening for your hips. Seven. Go for six, hold, hold, hold. Again, go for five, a little slower. Chest up, pull your navel in tight. Go for four, taller through your spine. Go for three, twice more. Go for two, last time go for one. Really push out to the right, to the left. Good. From this place, without touching the floor, see if you just open up your feet a little bit wider so you're in malasana here. Hold right here. Push your arms, elbows into your thighs. Hold four, three. Firmly plant your feet. Come up halfway. So up for two. Down. Down for two. Yeah. Up for two. Down for two. Oh, this is like the most horrible part of the malasana squats, yeah? Down for two, up for two, down for two. Couple more, up for two, lengthen out to the sides of your body, down for two. Up for two, down for two, up for two. Last time, down for two, up for two. Good, stand all the way up, shake it loose a little bit. Okay, so find second position, hands to your head, sit down. All we do here, real simple, we'll stay low. Keep your hands on your head. Come up onto your left heel, turn to your right hand side. Internal rotation. Come back through center. Turn to your left. Internally rotate your right. Come back through center. Couple more, super slow. Internally rotate your left. Face the right hand side. Come back through center. You're staying pretty low, yeah? Over to your left hand side. Come back through center. Over to your right, hold. Okay, make any adjustments that you need to make. Both sets of toes face the same direction. Straighten out through your right leg. Keep your left leg bent here. Sit back, your left heel will want to cave in on you. Keep it still facing that same direction as your right toes. And then just lean back here a little bit, upright your spine, open your chest, hold. Breathe, lengthen up tall, hold three. For two, and we'll just do some launches off of this left leg. Release your arms, up onto your toes. Straighten out your left leg, straighten, straighten. Good. Maybe your quad feels something already. Go back to that bend each time. Come up onto your toes nice and high at the top. Go straighten, straighten, straighten. You've got four, four, three, two, one. Bend it again, bend your right leg again, hands to your head. Come back through center. Turn to your left. Upright your spine. Tuck your tail in a little bit. Good, from here, straighten out your left leg. Keep your right leg bent. Both sets of toes face in that same direction. Release your arms. Hold right here. Chest up nice and tall. Good, taxing out this right thigh. Get ready. Straighten. Straighten, come down. 
straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend. Keep going. Straighten, keep your both hip points facing that same direction. Straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend. Keep going. Lengthen, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Last bit. Straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, chest up, bend, pull your navel in tight, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, last two, lengthen, bend, lengthen, bend, good, hands to your head, bend your left leg again, come through center, find your place, hold, hold for four, three, chest up, upright your spine, two, and gently release, come all the way down. We'll give our legs a little bit of a break here, move into our first set. Again, we're just doing this three times throughout. Our first set of 24. You find a wide arm push up. Okay, you can decide whether you wanna be on your toes or on your knees, your choice. We're gonna go all the way down, like literally all the way down. Once you're down there, lift your hands up off of the floor, push yourself all the way back up. Eight of those. And then eight of them, we're just gonna go halfway down. So like, let's say here, eight of them. And then your final eight will be your full range coming all the way down, okay? So let's get ready here. All the way down, your hand release push-ups to start. Good, take yourself all the way down. Tighten up your thighs. Lift up your hands, push. One, do it again, slowly. Lower yourself down. Hands up, tighten up your thighs again, push, go. That's two. Shift forward, slowly lower yourself down. Hands up, tighten up your thighs, push. Three, good, bend your arms, elbows, come all the way down. Tighten up your thighs, hands off the floor, push. Four, think of this as your active plank, you're moving it, yeah, slowly. Come all the way down. Hands up off the floor, tighten up your base, let's go. Five. Again, come all the way down. Hands up off the floor, go, push. Six. Lower all the way down, lower. Hands off the floor, push, go. Seven. Last one. Lower yourself all the way down. Tighten up your core, nice strong hands off the floor. Push, go. Eight, nice. Okay, your next bit, you're going only halfway down. Lift back up, eight of them. You can choose your arm stance, by the way. You can make it a little bit smaller, more narrow, or a little bit wider. All right, you choose. We have narrow ones later, though, so maybe you want to reserve that. Halfways, get ready, four, three, two, halfway down, okay. Let's go down, eight, seven, down and up. Six, five, four more, four, just halfway, three, two, one, release. Our final one, right, is full range, your normal, normal wide arm push-ups, or if you're doing narrow arm, narrow arm push-ups. Get ready, full range, let your chest just like touch the floor or hover up off of the floor. Here we go. Down, eight, seven, six, five, moving plank, four, fight for it, three, two, whoa, one, good, release. We're going back into that second position, give our arms a rest, our next one does not come until 6 p.m., right, so we have a good amount of time here to play around with this position. All right, once you're in second position, turn again over to your right hand side. All right, straighten out your right leg again. This time lower your arms down, touch down hinge, come back up, your left leg still bent. 
hinge, come back up. It's almost like a single leg deadlift, a little bit. And back up. Hinge, long spine, bring yourself back up. Hinge, back up. Three, back up. Twice more. Hinge, back up. Last time, hinge, back up. Good, straighten out your left leg this time. Re-square, and again, adjust your stance according, accordingly as much as you need, no problem. Square off your hips. Same thing, you just slice yourself in half like you're rolling something down your leg. Eight times, down, and lift. Belly in, hinge, and lift. You and I both know that any exercise, lift is an opportunity to engage your core. Hinge, four more times only. Hinge, three more times, hinge. Twice more. Hinge. Last time here. Hinge. And lift. Good. From here, you're gonna bend your left leg again. I'm gonna bring my right foot in just a hair closer because we're gonna go sitting all the way down, right? So it's almost like a single leg squat, but full, full range until your butt hits your heel. So you'll experiment a little bit with this, okay? Just try one. You're gonna come all the way down until your butt hits your heel. All right, so you're like you're posing for a glamour shot here. All right, and then stand back up. So when I was practicing this, I found that if my stance was wider, it was more difficult, even if I bent both legs. This is my opinion though, right? You might find it different. You can experiment with what works better. I found that this was a little bit um, less jolty for me, okay? So again, both sets of toes face that same direction. You're just bending your left leg, get ready. Here we go. Down, take yourself back up. That's one. Down, take yourself back up. Two, down. So this kind of simulates your drop knee. Take it back up, sort of, right? Three, down, take yourself back up. Four, down. Big, big bend, lift five, again, lower, lift six, twice more, lower, back up, last time, eight, lift back up, nice job, find yourself in second position, hold right there, breathe. Oh gosh, I thought it was a question about the movement. We're talking about shirts here though. Okay, hold right here. Just pulse down, down. Upright your spine again. Uh, sleeves are no good in my book. They just don't work. The pits just, no, <laughs> they need air. And down, down, good. From here, sort of similar to what we do in sculpt sometime, open up your knees, flare them out, flare. Small movement, upright your spine. Just small flares. Sit down a little bit lower, right? Sit down a little bit lower. Good. Open up your knees. Open, open. Good. Chest up, elbows out wide. Last eight, okay? Eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two. Turn to your left hand side, turn. All right, so here I am, turn to my left hand side. Keep your right leg bent, lower your arms, straighten out your left leg. We have eight of these, just hinging right here. Find a good stance that works better for you. Right leg is bent, hinge, go. Like you're rolling one of those lint rollers down your left leg, down, back up. Lengthen out through your spine, hinge. Take yourself back, four. Take yourself back up. Four more times. Hinge. Belly in nice and tight. Hinge again. Back and up. Twice more. Hinge. Pull your navel in. Lift. Last one. Hinge. 
and lift. Good, from here, find a long leg. I'm gonna find a place where I can kind of more easily drop my back heel. Re-square your hips, you have eight of these. Pull your navel in tight. Take yourself back up. Lower. Take yourself back up. Strong core here, hinge. Take it back up. Hinge. Take it back up. Four more times. As you hinge on your down, you should feel a nice stretch through your left hamstring with your left leg completely straight. Three. Take it back up. Twice more. Two. Last time. One. Take yourself back up. Good. Bend this right leg again. Bend it again. I'm going to bring this left foot in again. Your left leg is also bent. You can decide what distance works better for you. I'm going to give a couple trial rounds. So your butt, you want to sit all the way down to your heel. And then as controlled as possible, bring yourself back up. So experiment. Maybe you want your foot in a little bit closer as you sit all the way down. Or you want it a little bit farther away. Whatever works better. We're just doing eight of them. Again, re-square. Notice I tend to over-arch. I'm exaggerating right now, but if you're like me, I just need to pull. You just need to pull your belly in a little bit tighter, too. Okay, we have eight of these. Ready, go. Lower. This is one. And lower down. Control it, control it. Yes, like you're posing for a glamour shot. That's two. I've never actually seen anyone pose for a glamour shot like this. <laughs> Three. Four. Just as tall as you are when you're doing both legs uh, equally. Five. Take yourself back up. Lower. Six. Bring yourself up. Twice more. I'm a little bit jolting at the moment, so I need to kind of resist the urge to do that. Transfer and lift. You know how a lot of time, lower down, in climbing you're transferring your weight and then you're able to launch off? This is sort of the idea that I'm going for. Good. Return to your stance. Come back through center. Open up your knees. Open up through your chest. Pull your navel in tight. Little pulses down. Just as a rest in between, little pulses down. <laughs> That's awesome. I do think I need to cut this shirt a little bit shorter, otherwise it's bunching up a little bit. But um, yeah. Hold eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release your arms. We're just doing some transfer of weight like we talked about earlier. So I want you to transfer your weight into your right leg and immediately move into a half moon, basically. Flex your left foot. Land softly as you bend your right leg. Sit down into that second position, shift. Again into that half moon onto your left hand side. Seamless here, bend. All right, so whether you're doing this on the wall or freestanding like we're currently doing, I want the transitions to be super, super gentle, controlled, shift and lift. All right. You can even think about towing in as you sit down and then transfer, lift. And then gentle, come through second. Transfer over to your left, lift. Okay, we're adding on. Gentle transfer over to your right. All right, once you're here, I want you to actually deliberately touch down to the floor. Transfer weight into your right hand. Transfer weight into your right hand. Breathe. And then bend your left leg, oh, sorry, right leg. Bend your left leg. See if you can replace your right foot with your left foot. Pull your navel in. Replace exactly the same place. Hike up your right knee. Good. And then again, as you bend your left leg, replace your left foot with your right foot. Return back into that half moon shape. 
Yes, soften your base leg, move back into the second position. Open your chest as if this wall were in front of you. Shift your body weight into your left leg. Okay, you go into that half moon, deliberately touch down with your left hand. Transfer your weight into there a little bit. Bend your left leg, bend your right leg. Replace your left foot exactly with your right foot. Lift up your left knee, lift. And then gently bend your right leg, replace your right foot with your left foot back into that half moon. Open. Nice. Gentle bend your left leg, return to that second position. Open your chest, good. Transfer your weight into your right leg. Good, deliberate hand to the floor, hold. This time as you bend your right leg and you replace your right foot with your left foot, See if you can just match the place, but replace your heel with your left toes and replace your toes with your left heel. Find that lift, open up your right knee. So it's a little awkward now. You might need to tilt over to your left hand side just to maintain your balance. And then as you bend your left leg, replace exactly your heel with your toe your toe with your heel. You might have to look down, open up through your chest. And again, find your half moon, re-straighten out through your right leg. Maybe put some weight into your right hand again. Yes. Soften your right leg back in a second, gentle. Yes. Transfer, shift your body weight into your left leg. Find your half moon. Good. Deliberate weight into your left hand. From here, you're gonna replace exactly your heel with toe, your toe with heel. So see what you can do to do that. Good. Lift up your left knee, try to open up through your hips just the same. You might need to lean over. Yes. And then again, you're replacing heel with toe, toe with heel. Best you can as if you're facing the wall. Lift up your right leg, return your left hand down to the floor. A little launch off as we return into that second position. Find your place, hold. Hands into chest, upright your spine, hold right there, breathe. Hold for four, for three, for two, for one. Twist over to your right hand side again. You're here, hold. I want you to try to keep your legs in that same place from where you were, right? You just transfer here. Bend your left leg. See if you can go all the way down. For me, at least, it ended up with my right leg completely straight. All right, and then shift your weight over to your right leg. See if you can gently lift yourself back up. So much work. We'll give that leg a rest. Back through second, turn over to your left hand side. Slow, bend your right leg, sit down your butt. Again, at least for me, my left leg goes completely straight, right, if I don't make any adjustments. Shift your body weight into your left leg, transfer. Enough so that you can lift yourself up. All right, return to second position. Nice work, it's a lot of work, but just like your drop knees, you're holding on to whatever, you've got to launch off and go for that next thing. Especially if some of you are uh, a little bit uh, smaller height-wise, I'm 5'2 only, we got to hike up our feet a lot and drive up with our legs, right? Otherwise it just doesn't work. So, we're in our second position. Hands can be wherever, I'm just doing prayer for now. Turn to your right hand side, slowly lower. Bring yourself back up. Oh, yes. Back through a second. Turn to your left. Sit down. Oh, control it. Gently bring yourself up. Totally use your hands against the floor as you need. Return to second. Just a couple more each side, okay? Turn to your right. Concentrate. Bend your left leg, sit all the way down. 
bring yourself back up. Transfer your weight as much as you need to get yourself up there. Second position. Over to your left. Twist. Concentrate one point. Bend your right leg. Sit down. Take yourself back up. Transfer. Come back through. Center. Last time each side. To your right. Concentrate, bend, sit your butt down. Woo! Come back up. It's amazing how much slow things hurt. Come back through center. Over to your left. This is your last, okay? Bend, sit your butt down. Control it. Bring yourself back up. Oh, barely made it. Come back through center. All right, straighten out these legs, shake it loose. It's past six, so it's our second set. This time, the push-ups again, right? We're just doing some arm stuff because we're very heavy on the leg content today. Um, eight asymmetrical, left hand in front of right, right hand in front of left, whatever it is, and then switch, right arm in front of left, left hand behind. Uh, again, knees or toes, totally your choice. Uh, and our final eight is narrow. If you didn't narrow the other, uh, the previous round, do wide for me. One note I will make as we're all a little bit resting here is that knees are totally great. Um, if your desire or your goal is to actually do some on your toes though, do at least like one or two on your toes and then totally do, you know, knees or whatever. Uh, I just really think that if your goal is to do uh, push-ups on your toes, you gotta at least do a couple, right? doesn't need to be a lot, but every single time you work it, do like a couple, right? Each time then it'll feel more familiar. Your body will be um, sort of more receptive to it each time too, right? So it doesn't become a shock. Okay, so anyway, me and my talking. Left in front of right or right in front of left, your choice. Find your asymmetrical stance. All right, here we go. Square off your chest. Bend, push eight. Bend, push seven. Lower, push six. Lower, push five. Think of this as your moving plank. Push four. Strong push three. Push two. Push one. Take a quick rest. Get ready to switch out your arms. Um, before the thing that we did earlier, um, replacing your feet, I'm sure some of you have done that before when you've been on the wall, right? Like you're in slab, you cannot afford to kind of push your head any farther forward or back. You'd have to be completely sort of facing the wall. Everything is flat. So that sort of is hopefully mimicking that. I cannot help you with overhangs here, but I can maybe do some slab work a little bit. Get ready, set it up for your other set, your next set of eight. Let's go for it then. Lower, push eight. Lower, push seven. Lower. I just have like maybe one hand print in front of the other. Down, push, down, push, down. If this uh, was when I started on the beat, this should be eight, but I think I have two more. I'm not quite sure. I'll do another one. <laughs> return it's so funny to me for me like when i for, like lose count or whatever i'd rather just do a couple more and for for good measure and i don't actually mind being too asymmetrical because i feel like oftentimes in dance um you know any type of dance there's a lot of asymmetry so i don't mind it at all um good our next eight you either do narrow if you followed me with the wide arm earlier uh, if you did narrow earlier, do some wide arms. So this is probably the one that you prefer uh, less. <laughs> okay, so arms narrow to your body. Hug your upper arms in, yeah. Find yourself onto your toes. You wanna shift your body weight kind of a lot forward here. Let's go. Bend, up, eight. Bend, up, seven. Bend, up, six. Bend, up, five. Ooh, these are hard. Bend, up, four. Bend, up, three, twice more. Bend, up, two. Bend, up, one. Oh. I'm gonna give myself a rest 
and do two more good ones because my last two were definitely not good. <laughs> okay. As you're taking a rest, whatever you're doing, let's actually just find a boat. Let's all do actually another four together of those narrow arms. I think those are a little bit harder to do consecutively. Um, so we'll give it a quick rest, whatever shakes that you need to do with your wrists. Maybe do the chicken dance, whatever you need to do, circles is great. I kind of like just finding boat in between just because uh, why not, right? Make your body do some stuff while you're resting your other stuff. If you can really find in boat, especially if this is very, very sort of easy and you just hop right on into it, find some more compression. So if your hip flexors actually don't feel that much here, you're kind of like, oh, this feels like it can, can hang out all day. Really drive your knees into your chest uh, so that you actually do feel something. It's such a great um, sort of situation to be in when you can hop into a pose, let's say boat, and feel nothing, meaning your body is very accustomed to it and you're strong in that place. Uh, but after the, the huge pat on the back and all that wonderful stuff, celebration, you wanna go to a place where you do feel something, where there is a little bit more work, right? Okay, I think this is enough though, right? <laughs> all right, let's come back. Uh, let's just do four of those narrow arms, right? You can do two to four. Um, now let's see if we can get two, uh, four good ones, two at the very minimum. So your arms, elbows closing, and you want to wrap your arms in. Get ready. You're on your toes. Let's do it. Here we go. Bend. Push. Lower. Push. Twice more. Lower. Push. Last one. I feel like my last one was not as good, but it's okay. We got uh, two to three good ones. That's perfect. Do a quick thing for your wrists. All right, just face me is perfect. We'll stand it up, send your right leg forward. So right leg forward of your left, square your hips, make sure you're square and just hinge forward, right? Super nice and easy, hinge. Maintain that place, open up your chest. I'm gonna go sideways though, just so that you can see. So this kind of looks like a straight spine but you want to see if you can lengthen it out a little bit more. Um, this one I do want you to get both sets of toes facing the same direction. So in yoga, sometimes we do this whole back foot 45. Try to get both sets of toes facing forward this time. Draw your right hip back, push your left hip slight forward. And when you think of tilting your tail out or opening up through your chest, make sure it's not just your chest so your upper back is flat, but you want to tap in right here as well. So think about flattening out that area. And when you flatten out that area, hopefully this back side of your right leg is highlighted quite a bit more. Maintain this, maintain this. Bend your left leg, bend. Open up your chest, lengthen. Hold right here. Maybe you come down to palms even. Hold. Hold for four. Hold for three. Hold for two. Hold for one. Lift up your left heels. You gently lower yourself down. Keep your hands there if you can manage it. So basically now you're in a forward fold, hinging over your right leg, yeah? So. That wasn't too bad because your hands really helped you uh, manage the weight. It wasn't all in legs. As we come up, it might feel a little bit more leg intensive because we're not able to leverage our arms quite so much. So prepare, gently push. Yes, return back into the straight legs. Open your chest, flatten out your low back again. Hold for four, three, Two, slowly bend your left leg. Come down, your heel will naturally come up and you'll find yourself in a forward fold. Breathe. Open your chest, flatten out your low back. Drive through your strong left leg lift. No jolting though. Start to straighten it out. Drop your left heel down. So your left heel only comes up in so much as you need it to come up, right? 
open up through your chest. Get more of your belly flat over your thigh. Bend again, left leg bends. Your heel only comes up as much uh, as you need it to, to sit yourself down. Hold. Get your right foot flat against the floor. Feel this nice stretch through the top of your right foot. Take yourself back up, push. Control it, control it so you're not jolting up. Straighten out your left leg. Foot flat against the floor. Open your chest again. Flatten out through your spine again. Hopefully again you feel this right side uh, leg, hamstring, highlighted. Bend your left leg lower. Continue to stick your tail back behind you so you maximize the time that you can spend uh, with a long, long spine. Flatten out all five toes against the floor best you can evenly. Slowly, come back up. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Control your ascent. Both heels flat. Lengthen out through your spine. Shoulders away from ears. Hold for four. Hold for three. Hold for two. Hips back and open. And gently lift yourself up. Halfway. Arms extend forward. Your upper body a tabletop. Use your strong core. Lift yourself all the way up and gently push out right, left, release. Good, switch out your legs. Left leg in front of your right. Again, both sets of toes face the same direction as opposed to our yoga stance, right? And from here, just chop yourself in half. That's the only place you bend. And you take yourself all the way down. I'm gonna still face this direction just in case it feel, er, visually offers you something different. Okay, let's check. Draw this left hip back, right hip forward. Notice any rounding in your spine? Really stick your tail back and out, hold. Belly flat over your thigh. Uh, so when you think of this as folding your entire body in half, uh, let it not be like a little bit of rounding or curving through this front body, really flatten it out, right? Okay, let's bend your right leg. Heel comes up. A little bit, little bit. Maybe your hands can stay in place. Flatten out your left foot. All five toes flat. Maybe a nice little stretch, top of your foot. Knees fairly close, right? And then gently come back up. Nice, you're back into your original place. Lengthen out through your spine. Open your chest, draw your shoulders away from ears. Left hip back, right hip forward. Again, bend your right leg down. Check your right toes are still facing the same direction as your left toes. Hips heavy, back behind you, deep hinge. Yes, re-straighten your left leg best you can. Slowly come back up. And you might notice, like for me, You've heard me say this so many times, but my right leg has a little bit of an old injury. So I feel like there's like this tendency to jolt uh, on that initial lift, right? So I need to work on controlling it. Lower yourself down. I feel like on the descent, it's not quite so bad uh, because my arms are, I don't know, bearing the weight a little bit, so it's not as heavy. But I definitely notice it on the way up. Draw your shoulders away from ears, open your chest. So slowly now, come back up. We're just right there when my leg wants to be like, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> Hold right here, open your chest. There's always room to get a little bit longer, which is kind of uh, great, right? There's always room, there's always room. Come down, bend. Is this your final time? Stay, open your chest. This is also really helpful for pistol, although this is, we're not maybe intentionally working that necessarily. Come back up, slow, slow. But you'll notice that we did uh, quite a few uh, sort of slower movements as opposed to our normal like fast, fast, huge amount of reps. Um, all right, from here, use your strong core, lift yourself up halfway you're in like a tabletop position stabilize through your legs engage your core again i tend to arch with my ribs out i need to pull my belly in a little bit tighter breathe use your strong core lift yourself all the way up good gently release your arms return your legs 
Okay, we're going down lower. Now we're a little bit more warmed up for sure. Let's do something quickly just for our hips. Uh, open up your feet into like a second position, stance, heels and toes out, but we'll keep our legs straight. Push your hips forward. Just push your hips forward, allow this uh, hip flexor area just open up, stretch out a little bit. And then push a little bit to your left side. And then push a little bit over to your right side. And then back through center, both hip points push forward. Good, job. and come back up. Open up your feet a little bit wider. Bend into your left leg. Going from high ninja, if you can afford to do so, going all the way down into low. Slowly come back up. Four more. Four, three, to transition over to your other side. From high ninja, taking eight counts to go down. For four, maybe low ninja, three, two, Take it back up. Four more. Four, three, two, over to the other side. Last four. Four, three, two, take it back up. Slow up. Go for four. Three, two, switch. Go four. Three, two. Lower down, all the way for four, three, two, take it back up last time, slow, four, three, two, one, nice work, come all the way down to your left, take your time, and then once you're here, uh, you can keep your right heel, sorry, right toes up, or you can flatten out your foot against the floor, your choice, really push this left knee though, out of the way, out of the way. Push your butt back. I'm gonna lift my right toes up, actually. Hinge. Stand your arms forward. Breathe. Find that hinge, nice deep hinge. Okay, as low, as low as you can be. Flatten out your right foot. Lift up through your chest, but keep your hips fairly low, right? So. See if you can maybe bring your right foot in a little bit. Transfer, keeping your butt fairly low. And then once you're over to your right hand side, I'll extend my left leg out to my left. And then I'm gonna bring my left toes up to match the other. Extend your arms. Um, on this, you can see the right foot. I tend to roll into my arch, so I need to really push uh, my right knee out and lift up on my arch. Hinge, hinge. As you're hinging here, uh, your right side body will want to crunch into your thigh, find length, so there's a little bit less crunching. Okay, bring your left foot in a hair. See if you can transfer, keeping your butt super low. Just hovering off of the floor. Nice. All right, we're just hanging out here. Keeping your butt super low. Shift. Butt low. Four, three, two. Yes, hang out here. Open your chest. This is your rest. Butt super low. Let's go, over to your left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hang out left. Open your chest. We lengthen out through your spine. So our bodies always remember we're tall even when we're crouched down. Shift, eight, seven, six, butt low, butt low. Four, three, two, one. Your left leg goes straight, hold. Check in with your chest. Lengthen again. Size of your body long again. Slow over to our left. Butt just hovering. Ooh. Push yourself up. Find yourself just in this wide leg forward fold. Hinge here. Breathe. Breathe. Nice, easy. Tilt your tail up high toward the ceiling. Okay. 
Gently roll yourself up. We have our one last set of push-ups. And then I want to do one last thing for our transfer of our weight. We got really low in that one. Really nice job. That one's not easy for sure. Um, okay, so our last set. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we have um, stag jumps. We'll do eight on one leg. And that's like, for instance, you launch off your left leg, you kick your right leg straight, and you bend up your left one to follow. So it, I'll show you a couple, huh? So they're basically handstand hops, essentially, right? But I kind of like these because you only have to worry about your first leg that goes up, and your second leg, you're not even uh, like, oh, my goal is to strain that, that one. No, it's deliberately bent, so you sort of like don't have to worry about that at all, which is kind of nice. Okay, so just make sure when you kick that you're not gonna hit an obstacle. So I currently am hitting an obstacle. I want a full extension to not hit an obstacle for sure. And then you just lift one leg up, bend your base leg, throw yourself up, and then maybe catch yourself like I did when I was about to fall over, right? So you're launching off, in this case, your left leg kicking up with your right, and just going for some air. So with eight of those, switch out your legs, so then your right leg would be your launch, your left leg would be your float, and your final eight will do both legs together and you can decide whether you want your knees to be close or your knees deliberately spread apart wide. All right, so more froggies, uh, knees out wide, or pike with your knees in a little bit closer. These are Molly's favorite, I know. She misses them. Uh, all joking aside, totally feel free to use a wall so um, you don't uh, hurt yourself if you don't know how to fall out of, out of things. Um, if you want to try it in the center of the room, totally do that as well. Uh, we'll get started. Okay, just eight of them. You might not be following my pace. I'm going to check the time. Here we go. Do eight. And some of them will not be very good. And that's okay. You just try the best that you can. Looking for some air. And again, just like with any balancing poses, you wanna fight, here you wanna fight as well, best you can. Each time you fight, your body is like, okay, okay. We're interested in staying. And it's really interesting to me because I feel like, uh, that was eight for me, so I did them in approximately like 40 seconds or so. Uh, we'll take a break and we'll start again, do our other leg. It has been forever, Molly. We were on a roll for a while and then we stopped. So it's good to revisit for sure. Uh, what was I saying? We'll do our second leg first and then I'll talk because you know, as we, as I start talking, it could be like a never ending story. And it's likely the case that the leg that you chose for your second side is the leg that you don't like to do cartwheels on. That's at least my situation. So this sign might feel a little bit funny and that's just fine. And if you're like, Jen, I can't even tell you the last time I did a cartwheel or I've never done one in my life. <laughs> it's just the one that feels slightly more natural to you. And today I'm not even catching any air on this. And I don't know if it's because I'm moving timidly or something. Okay, hopefully you guys got eight in on the other side. All right, in about 10 seconds, we move into our both legs. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Bend, pike it up or froggy it up, your choice. Feel free to take breaks in between, by the way. Sometimes when I do them in a row, I just they just don't work. My legs are not firing enough to give me that momentum. They're just a little tired. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> David, you have such long legs too, David. Your cartwheel is like reaching up to the moon. So hopefully you did eight. Breathe, breathe. 
Okay, so I'm gonna change out the video because we're nearing the end on this one. Um, so I hope to see you on the flip side. All right.